Hi, thanks so much for joining me today. I want to be able to offer you five great hip and glute exercises just working with a small mini band. So put that up around your ankles. Another way you could do it is put it up around your knees or even standing on it. My seven year old here is videoing me. Make sure to click like, comment, and stay till the end of the workout so you can see all five different exercises. All right, first thing we're gonna do is 30 seconds of what's called a mini band walk, okay? Just three steps back and forth. Ready, go. Okay, so what I do is I avoid letting my hips rock back and forth, and I'm trying to keep my feet and my knees open. So I wanna keep my feet apart, knees apart. Kind of think of it if I'm bow-legged. So trying to keep those knees open without letting them cave in. You could also do these where you're standing nice and tall. A Little bit different contraction. Both of them work great. Three, two, and one. Now we're gonna come forward and back. So I just like having a little bit of a bend because I get more contraction through the glutes working through there. Some of the muscles working through, glute medius, glute minimus, glute maximus. We're working some hip abduction as well as we come side to side. 10 more seconds. You feel that burning, stay low. Good, and this is called the monster band walk. Okay, and relax. Now, pull this up above your knees. You've got the band above the knees. You could buy these bands that perform better or power systems, and they, they don't cost much, like two to five dollars. Great workouts. This one's a blue. So I'm gonna stand together and then jump out. Okay, ready? Go. We'll go 30 seconds here on this one. Stand and jump out. Just like that. And I'm just getting a nice soft landing as I come down and through. Getting that up tall, jump wide. And I use these bands for a lot of my training. Really good on working hips and glutes. Good for protecting knees, protecting hips, and lower back. Okay, one more. Good, okay. Keep that at your knees. You're gonna lie down on your side. And these are called clams. So what I do is I bend my knees without moving my back. And I'm gonna just open like this. We're gonna go for a minute. Ready, go. Um, the tension on the bands is always a little different. The lighter the color, the easier they are. You can feel that isolate. That's the glute medius. So think of the muscle you use when you stand on one leg. We're going a minute. Feel that full squeeze. Get that peak contraction. 30 seconds left. <laughs> I actually did this one earlier with a couple of my clients. They were doing really well. <laughs> and the focus on this one is without motioning your back. So it's creating a disassociation from the hips to the upper body. Now this workout, you can get in in under five minutes. Okay, one more and relax, good. Now let's switch and try the other side. Now, what's great with this workout, okay, go ahead and start now. And I like coming down all the way instead of propping up because then I'm gonna be at an angle with my spine. And down here, I allow my hips to get that work where we wanna contract. But these are great if you have any type of, type of knee injury, lower back injury, some of those areas. So we're working one minute here on this one. Then we'll just get one more exercise after that. And it's about to rain here, so we'll be done in a minute. All right, 30 more seconds. Peak contraction, try to squeeze and lock in. Sometimes on these you won't even feel it much until you get to about two thirds of the way or so up. Okay, 15 more seconds. So you could repeat this workout, it's under five minutes, and then just repeat it for two, three, four sets, start building it up. Six more seconds, three, two, and one. Good, now last exercise is pull it down to your ankles. <clears throat> and let's lie back on the other side. This time we're gonna do what's called straight leg hip abduction. So come forward with your hip forward and lift. 
So what I'm getting here with that toe, without letting it open, I'm trying to point that toe straight forward and letting that hip come forward without pushing back. And that's contracting that glute medius. And I feel that one working. <laughs> 15 more seconds. See, it doesn't need much tension, but you can press through it, try to squeeze through it. And then we'll just do one more 30 seconds the other way. You guys feel that burning? Three, two, one. All right, let's try one last one. <clears throat> Please make sure to subscribe. I would love to be able to continue sharing more of these types of workouts with you. And go. Okay, drive forward. And then click the, the bell notification button as well. And um, share it with your friends. The bell notification will allow you to, to get the updates on any of the new uh, videos that I do. <sighs> Feel that burning. Isolating. Really good lock-in. Eight more seconds. And again, just order the bands. It's, I have a blue one. The green one's a little lighter. Yellow one's lighter. You probably don't need a black. And time. All right. So thanks so much for joining me. Quick workout. Band, hip, and glute. Look forward to seeing you again soon.